Hey everyone! What's the matter? Or should I say, what is matter? This is what we're going to tackle for today. Before we start, there are several words that you have to know in order to clearly understand our topic. First, shapes. Shape is the outline or external surface of an object. For example, circle. Can you give something that are circle in shape? Ball. Oranges. Pizza. Right. How about square? Boxes very good. And how about triangle? Can you draw a triangle? Excellent! Those shapes that we mentioned are only regular shapes. But there's one more kind of shape. But first, can you guess who's this Pokemon? Who's that Pokemon? Bulbasaur, right? are called irregular shapes. These shapes are those having different kinds of lengths, of sides, and angles from each other. Or in other words, unusual shapes. Here are some examples. Now let's proceed to the second word, volume. Volume is the amount of space that an object or substance occupies. For example, this is an empty bottle and we're going to put a rock inside it. The amount of space that the rock occupies is its volume. Now let's remove the rock inside the bottle to try other examples. Let's put some water inside the empty bottle. Same as the rock, the water consumes space, which pertains to its volume. For the third word, force of attraction. It is the force that holds the molecules together. Okay, since you already know the three words, let us recall. First word, shapes. The regular and irregular shapes. Second word, Volume, the amount of space that an object occupies. And for the third word, force of attraction, which keeps the molecules together. Now let's proceed to our lesson, matter. Does matter really matters? Of course, because matter is everywhere. Matter is any substance that has mass and takes up space by having volume. For example, trees, woods, ferns, tables, chairs, computer, and even you. Aww. You matter. There are three states of matter, namely the solid, liquid, and gas. Solid state, the molecules of matter are closely packed together, so the molecules hold each other very tightly, which causes strong force of attraction between them. That's why solid has definite shape and volume. In liquid state, the molecules are more loosely packed than in solid, so the force of attraction is weaker compared to solid making liquid have independent shape but with definite volume. That's why liquid takes up the shape of its container. And in gas state, molecules of matter are very far from each other, that the force of attraction is very weak, which makes gas no definite shape and no definite volume. Do you understand, class? Good! Based on what we had tackled, can you give me some examples of solid, 
Wood. Sleepers. Right. How about liquid? Juice. Soda. Very good. And for the last, gas. Air. Carbon dioxide. Excellent. I'm so glad with your performance and participation. It seems that you really understand our topic. Now, let us differentiate the three states of matter. Fluids are usually things that you can easily touch and hold with your hands. While in liquid, you can touch it but you can't hold it. And in gas, you can feel it but you cannot touch it nor hold it. The reason behind this are, in solid objects, you can easily hold it as your hands won't have any space to pass through or enter inside it due to closely packed molecules. In liquid, your hands will pass through it as you hold it because there's a space between molecules. And in gas, you yourself can easily pass through it because gases are around us because their molecules are far apart from each other. Any more question, class? Wow! I'm so happy that you really paid attention and interest in our topic. Now, can you determine what things belong to solid, liquid, and gas? Okay, let's check. Pen belongs to solid. belongs to liquid. Mo belongs to gas. Towel belongs to solid. Soda belongs to liquid. And lastly, air belongs to gas. Well done, kids! I'm so glad that you got all the correct answers. Thank you and